so this is a video tutorial on how to adjust a Rolex bracelet. Uh, the first thing you'll need is the bracelet itself. Um, just make sure you identify that your model has the screw system and it's pretty easy to tell. Just make sure that there are flat heads on, along the length of the bracelet. Uh, next thing you'll need is a bracelet holder, one of these. You could grab them off Amazon for really cheap. Uh, you'll need a screwdriver. This particular screwdriver is measured at one millimeter, so it's a flat head with one millimeter hollow ground. Um, if you really need it, you could use the blowtorch to loosen the Loctite that has previously been applied. Um, I don't really think this is necessary, but in the event that it's really tough to actually break the seal, use this guy. Make sure you aim him on the side opposite of the screw head and I'll kind of show you which side it is in a second here. Um, when reapplying the bracelet and reapplying the screw, you'll need a Loctite or a variation of that product. Make sure you use a light or a medium strength. Uh, don't ever use a heavy strength or a, a high strength one. And then you'll just need a toothpick here. This will remove excess Loctite from the screw and it'll help you reapply the new one. So let's get started. So on a typical Rolex bracelet for a six digit one, there'll be two sides. On this side here, you can see all the screw heads. On the opposite side here, you just see nothing basically. It's just a flush part here that this, that's the opposite end of the screw. So what we wanna do is identify this side here and start working on this side. Okay, so what we want to do is identify which of these patterns the bracelet fits in best. And I've already done this and I've identified that this one here fits the best. So just place the watch and the bracelet into that little groove there and balance it out so it stands up straight. And identify which um, of the links you want to remove. So I've identified I want to remove this one here. So the thing about adjusting bracelets on these watches is you need to be extremely careful and patient. Um, the end links here are all polished so any little mistake you make with the screwdriver will scratch the bracelet quite a bit. So take your time and go slow. If you find that you cannot um, undo the screw with the screwdriver make sure you could use um, the blowtorch here. You just aim it on the other side uh, only aim it with the heat for maybe a couple seconds at most. That should be enough to break the seal. Um, and only aim it at the link that you want to adjust. In this case here, I will go for this link. And so I will go very slowly. So make sure the screwdriver fits exactly in the middle of the screw that you want. And when you feel that you're seated, make sure it's in the very middle of the screw because if it's not, you will be scratching your links here. And put some pressure on the top and slowly turn counterclockwise. And there it goes, the screw is now moving. So make sure you go slow. Turning the screw. And then as you move above, you can increase the speed and release tension. You'll get to a point where you feel that you're no longer unscrewing the screw and it just basically sits there. And you should feel a little click because you reach the end of the thread. And when you do that, just release and take the screw out. And I just want to show you up close how these screw slash pins look. So Rolex uses in a screw slash pin. So it's all integrated into one unit here, which I think is pretty cool because it's much, there's less small parts moving around. And at the very end here, that's the thread. If you can see that right there is, oops, there's some 
some fibers on there. That right there is the thread. So when we want to reapply the bracelet, we need to clean off this thread here, reapply the thread locker, and try it, and then screw it in again. Um, and that's basically it. So, and this is how the bracelet looks like. So in order to clean off these little threads and not to scratch them or damage them, I find the best tool to use is a toothpick because these are generally not very hard. They're not going to scratch the screw. They're not going to break the threads and they will clean off all the old Loctite. So just make sure you just move around the screw. And then after a little bit, um, that's basically it. And so <clears throat> when it's time to reapply the bracelet, uh, just take some of your Loctite here, your thread locker. Um, take the opposite end of the tooth, uh, toothpick, grab a tiny bit there on the end. Not that you don't need very much, grab a tiny bit on the end there. And this should be great, like that. And of course there will be excess and we could clean that off. And the best spot to apply it is on the bracelet itself. So identify which side the screw goes in. So the screw goes on to the right side here and moves towards the left. So let's reapply this on the left side here. And you can see um, that there are going to be some threads there. So this is the right side to apply it. Uh, the hole is actually pretty small. We could get this in here and we can push it in. And that right there should be enough. And then after that, just grab a little piece of cloth or a napkin or something, and you can clean off the excess Loctite. And that is plenty right there. And then just clean off the excess. And there'll be some sitting there, but we could deal with that after we've reapplied the bracelet. And then put it back into put it back into the stand here and then we can re-screw it in. So when you have a firm hold there, grab the screw you removed earlier and drop it right through the bracelet to connect both sides. And there we go, we got a nice connection there. And right onto the stand we go. And just like before, the most important thing is be patient. Clean up some of the fibers from my cloth. And then put the screwdriver right in the middle of the screw. If it's not in the middle of the screw, you will scratch your bracelet and slowly turn clockwise. And the second you feel any pressure at all, you can stop turning. And that should be enough to secure the screw to the bracelet. And that is it. You don't want to go any more than that. So here's a close-up of the screw. There you go. And let's give you a shot of the other side here. So the other side here, all the links are flush to the end of the, the uh, bracelet. And that is exactly how you do it. There is really no tricks to it. You just have to take your time and go slowly. Um, some things I want to point out is that when you're resizing bracelets, uh, you want to have a shorter side on the 6 o'clock side and have the 12 o'clock side longer, so like this. In my particular configuration, I have, uh, what is that, three, six, seven on the side. I think the side is round three, six, nine, twelve. 
So just to give you an idea, and that will make the watch sit right in the middle of your wrist. The clasp here is right in the middle of your wrist here, and the watch sits firmly on the middle on the top of your wrist. And that exact is exactly how we adjust a Rolex bracelet. Thanks for watching, guys.